brewing process begins by adding malted barley and combining it with hot water. That's the mash. Here, blueberry ale has some blueberry puree added to the mash. Typically, a mash is comprised of malted barley and wheat or corn. It's steeped for about an hour. Here, the flavors are made into the finished color and sweetness. Here, a porter is being brewed. You can see the color of the beer. It's almost black in color. Once an hour has elapsed, we extract the liquid, which is called wort at that time. This contains all the sugars that were stored within the malt. This will give us our fermentable sugars to make our alcohol, which contained in the beer. The wort is pumped into the brew kettle. Once it's full, we bring it to a boil. In the brew kettle, hops are added. This lends the bitterness. If it's a specialty beer or a fruit beer, we add the fresh fruit or juice or spices into the brew kettle where it boils for an hour. After an hour in the brew kettle, we transfer the beer into a fermentation vessel where it'll sit for the next two weeks, transforming the sugar in the wort to carbon dioxide and alcohol. We test the level of sugars throughout the different stages of the growing process. Here the yeast is added to the fermentation vessel. This is the beginning of the fermentation process, which takes about 10 to 14 days. After those 14 days, it's carbonated and kegged for distribution. Look out for our 22 ounce bombers at Southern New Jersey liquor stores like Circle Liquors at Summer Point, White Horse Liquors, and Gourmet Liquors in Galloway. Okay. So um, I, I take it we heard from people that you guys could hear that, okay? Yes. Excellent, excellent. So that was Eddie Sunday. Eddie, anything you want to add to that? Uh, yeah, hi. My name is Eddie Sunday. Uh, I am Pinelands Brewing Company's first intern. We're located on 7th Street in Little Lake Harbor, New Jersey. Uh, a couple things about us. We're a three-barrel nano brewery um, located in the Pinelands. Uh, my role for the brewery at this point is to basically find them different ways to make money to finance their expansion, um, along with running their social media and all different kinds of things like that. Uh, anyone's free to come in for a personal tour by myself or one of the other employees there and get a real hands-on view of it. Uh, it's really a very small brewery. Uh, it's only about 2,000 square feet. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting. It's an awesome time. And um, we're going to be looking for more interns in the future, specifically accounting and nanobiology. So. Yeah, nanobiology, that's really uh, you know, weekends, I'm, I'm always nanobiology. Uh, what, I'll, I'll be sure to let Jay Chapman know that. What What is nanobiology, Eddie? I have no idea. That's why I'm a hospitality major. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the things I want to do out there is, um, and I've talked to, um, uh, who's the guy I've been in touch with out there? Uh, uh, Nick Brown. He is the marketer. Yeah. Nick. Um, I guess when they first got started, they had a very small uh, capacity. Uh, I know like 32 gallons or something like that. Um, I forget what it was. Uh, and uh, I'd like to get a group of my friends together, and they still have that that particular um, uh, 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 brew capacity. It's a separate it's a separate uh, tank there, like that. I'd like to get some of my friends to come out there and have them uh, do a special brew for us, and then um, you know uh, bottle it for us. Where uh, we could split it up and you know keep it in our houses and that kind of stuff. And, and I'm sure we could set something up. I'll uh, I'll talk to them tonight when I go in there and see what we're doing. Currently, we're actually in the process of Broadway Burger 
uh, a representative from there came to us and wants us to specifically make a uh, beer just for them that we cannot sell to anyone else. And I'm sure with everything that Stockton's done for them and you know I've done for them as well and much reciprocated, they would not have a problem with that at all. Well, I don't. I mean, I mean, I, I think it'd be a good way for them to make some money. You know, um, which I think they're actually already doing it. So I, I, I want to talk to them about it because, uh, you know, I don't care if it was a special group just for me, but it was just, you know, something that we came out there as a group and, and got to help make and that kind of stuff and then, you know, bottle it and buy it and take it home with us. Yeah, we'd, we'd pay for it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the brew process takes roughly two weeks to get to the bottling stage. So as long as you're, uh, you'll be able to be there at least twice, we'll be fine. Well, the good news is, is that I have other beer I can drink during the intervening two weeks. <laughs> you, you always pick up a sixth or a half keg. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Thanks, Eddie.